All right, guys, today I'm going to go ahead and show you the best way to snipe cards on the auction block to make the most coins for your training points value in Mutt 19. What I mean by that is what you want to go ahead and do is get the unit price of the training points, and that's going to be how you go ahead and figure out what's the best. So, for example, at the moment, the best ratio is for every one training point you get you spend 60 coins so for example 10 would be 600 coins so that is the ratio we want and as long as we can get for every training point you get you spend 60 coins we are fine for ratios right so that's what we're trying to figure out with all of this now in this video guys i'm going to show you exactly what you see on the screen right here every single overall from 70 to 89 and what range you want to snipe be sniping cards in in order to get that ratio of every training point or one training point for 60 coins so before we get into that real fast we have comment today coming in from mike quinn who said off topic but our training points easy to get training points are not easy to get by any stretch of imagination you get them by either playing solos quick selling cards um actually they're pretty much easy to get i don't want to say they're not easy to get it just it does take time to get them right it's not like they're as easy as anything now later in the year when you know you 89 overall is going for nothing and you can quick sell them for 1600 training points they will be easier to get but at this moment they're not as easy as they could be so let's go ahead and say like goal for this video being 50 likes. Can we smash 50 likes? Comment down below and tell me your thoughts and opinions of training points. So starting off right away, this is where we are starting. 70 overall, which is 10 training points equals 600 coins max. Meaning for every one training point you get, you, pay, you spend 60 coins. Uh, so right here you can see if you want to snipe a 70 year wall and get the actual correct you know value for your training points that's going to be a 600 coin maximum snipe for your 70 uh, 70 overall 71 is going to be a 600 72 is going to be 600 and then 73 is going to be a 600 finally 74 being a 900 coin snipe now at this moment no you know, again, you do have to get some good snipes because a lot of these cards are going to go for more than this max coin max we have right here. But the thing that it comes down to is that you want to go ahead, obviously, get some snipes. But as the game goes on, prices will come down. And this chart is going to be the best for you to go ahead and look at, even if it's later in Madden, just to see, okay, well, now silver's go for 200 coins. I can go ahead and get my max value for that at the moment. So... 75 to 79 as you can see we are going up even more so 75 overalls have 15 training 900 coin max is what you want to be sniping them for um 76 a 900 coin uh max 77 is a 1200 coin max 78 is a 1500 coin max and finally 79 overall is going to be a 1800 coin uh max so as the training points go up you want to go ahead and also, of course, the maximum coins you can spend on that certain overall goes up too. Now, guys, if you can get a snipe of any of these cards, if you get a snipe of a card or buy a card that's a 79 overall for less than 1,800 coins, you're getting a snipe for the training point value. So, yes, you might not be getting a snipe to get that card back, but if you're just looking to buy these cards just to quick sell them, just to add to your uh, training points and get even more, this is what I'm talking about on how to get the best for your value. So, of course, these cards, you're not buying them to have on your team, to hold on your team, to do or to sell right back. This is not sniping. This is sniping. Well, it is sniping, but it's sniping for training points. So let's go ahead and go to the next tier. And the, these are actually broken up just like the auction block is. 80 uh, overalls is going to be a 3,900 coin max. 81 is going to be a 5,700 coin max. 82 is going to be 135 uh training which is 8100 coin max 83 is a 12,000 coin max uh, 84 is going to go ahead and be a 16.5 coin max uh, 85 is a 22.5 coin max uh, 86 is a 33,000 87 is a 46.5 uh, 88 is going to be a 66,000 and finally 89 overall will be 96,000 so that's going to be the coin max for that now mutthead.com 
does have a really cool feature on it that lets you go ahead and be able to see this exactly what I'm showing you right here. Let me go ahead and show you guys this real fast. They actually have a cheapest training right here. And if you do the math for how much this costs, Neil was going for 100,000 coins. He has gone up since they added this feature. But him and 100,000 coins is a good example on you know the cheapest for your training value. So the cheapest amount of coin you're spending for the amount of training value you're getting. So of course, one training point for 60 coins is the best value at the moment. As the time goes on, as days go on, as the whole year goes on, that will change and it will be even better for your training value. Now, I'm not sure if EA is going to change it around and move, you know, maneuver it. But again, I'm hoping you guys, this is, the video did help you out. And hopefully you can, you know, reference this video to kind of understand what if you're getting a good snipe for just quick selling a card for a good training value. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe button. Again, hopefully it helped you out. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe button and share this video with a friend. If anyone's like confused about training and they don't understand it completely, go ahead and send them this video and hopefully it helps them out. Peace, guys.